if they increase their dividends let's say they move from from one rand to three rand it's a win-win for you because like you are investing more and if you go on like that and reinvest and reinvest you might find welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl precious and i'm back with another plug if you're new welcome to the family just know that i love you feel welcome and feel as if you're part of this family because i welcome you and don't forget to subscribe like and click on the notification bell so that you can know every time i post and if you're a returning uh subscriber please feel at home sit at welcome back home so guys today i'm actually going to talk about how we can actually use compounding uh, to work in your favor in the stock market so guys this actually works more uh in if you are receiving dividends if the company that you are investing in pays out dividends so i will give you an, an example so that you can understand it better so what i mean is that let's say you take um company a you invest your money in company a and you have bought a thousand shares and then company a declares a dividend of two rents per share it means that you will be receiving how much two thousand rents um for your shares for for the total number of your shares but it won't come to you as 2000 rand because there is dividends tax so they will take their tax and withhold it and then let's say the the amount that will be left can actually be able to buy you uh 300 more shares so in the next year if they still go ahead and declare a dividend of two rents per share it means that in the next year you are going to receive 2600 rents which means that it, it, it would have increased from what it was in the previous year because now you 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 are, you, you are a bigger shareholder so your shares are more so that's how you earn more because when they declare dividends they declare dividends per share so for every share that you own you're going to receive that amount that they have declared if they increase their dividends let's say they move from from one rand to three rand it's a win-win for you because like you are investing more and if you go on like that and reinvest and reinvest you might find that at the end uh, you are actually earning more dividends in that company and you can actually decide if you want to stop or if you want to keep on growing that's why i said that it is very important to set your financial goals so that you can know how far you want to go how much shares do you want to own a certain company so that even when you are investing you know that this is my target so it actually gives you direction of how much you want to own if you want to own five percent of a company it's possible you just need to keep on buying keep on buying keep on buying because this is like planting a tree and it always grows so guys thanks a lot for watching my video please do not forget to like subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you can know every time that i post it's your girl precious and i still love you please stay in tune for more and thanks a lot for your support